I've got your NBA free pick. The Lakers are taken on the Jazz. Use the promo code UPSET to save yourself 20% off the entire site. Welcome to Picks and Parlays. I'm Allie Burns, and I've got Craig Trapp with me today. What's going on, Craig? Well, it's that time of year where, you know, it's just a few weeks away. And, you know, usually we'd be kind of looking towards the NBA playoffs, but with the late start for the NBA, now we're looking at uh, uh, the All Star break uh, coming up here. So, uh, of course, they announced the All Star um, starters last week, they announced the All Star bench this week. So, uh, exciting time for the NBA. Yes, yes, indeed. And this should be a good game, or will it really? So I'm showing the Jazz minus eight, totals 220. I know AD is injured, so what's going on in this game? What do you got here? Well, Lakers, you know, they're they're heading the wrong direction. But, you know, a lot of people may be pulling the uh, uh, emergency handles saying, you know, what's going on with the Lakers? It's like, uh, just settle down. You got your probably best. Most consistent player is Anthony Davis. I mean, he does everything on both ends of the court for them. And, you know, LeBron obviously hasn't been able to do it himself the last, I think, well, they've lost three or four in a row here. And now they face a Jazz team that is the hottest team in the NBA, uh, 25 and 6 on the year. And and how about this record? Is this any good, uh, uh, Ali? 23 and 8 against the spread, including 13 and 3 against the spread at home. I don't think it's just good. I think it's real good. Real good, I would say. Uh, yeah, yeah nine and one uh, straight up and against the spread in the last ten, and they get a Lakers team that's three and seven in their last ten against the spread. So, obviously, the Jazz heavy favorite here. I deserving the line open at seven and a half has been bet to eight pretty quickly. I, I don't see how you don't take this Utah Jazz team, even when they've gotten off to some slow starts, including being down double digits um, at times in this big winning streak that they've had, uh, or going back, you know, basically a month. They just turn it on. I mean, they have a different gear at, at a point of game where they just turn it on and then it's game's over. I mean, they go from a down two or three to up 10, 12 in, in a click of a finger. It's just the defense of the Jazz is still elite like it was in years past, but now their offense is, is, it has joined the company. It's elite as well. And I don't think you can uh, go away. Sometimes you just have to jump on the bus. And this winning bus continues here. I like the Utah Jazz minus eight in this one. All right. Now, if I had to push you towards a total, you like it over or under? I know your strongest place on the Jazz, but 220 is the number. <laughs> if you had to lean, which way would your elbow go? Up or down? Yeah, well, the Lakers, the problem is their problem has been scoring points. I mean, they're pretty good defensively. They've not been scoring very many uh, points. And, you know, that the way the NBA is played now, it's just you have to score. And the Jazz realized that, and they've got on the scoring bus. I think you have to take the over here at 220. This Jazz team's been an over machine um, in the last uh, five or six games. I think this Utah Jazz team wins easy, and I would take the over if I was going to play it, uh, as I think the Jazz roll. And I think that forces the Lakers to play a little catch-up, which does force this into an over spot. All right. From Craig Trapp's mouth to your ears, take the Jazz minus the eight and lean towards the over. That's your free pick from Picks and Parlays.